Okay, everybody, can you stand and join me in listening to a Canada? Thanks. Welcome to New Day at School. Today it's Tuesday and it's April 25th. Let's start off by wishing a happy birthday to Tyson in grade six, Avian in kindergarten, and Max in grade four. Hope you have fabulous birthdays. Come on by the office, pick up those birthday pencils. Today on our calendar, it is known as National Hug a Plumber Day. Wow. Uh, Hug a Plumber Day reminds everybody across the world to sing the praises of these important folks who make sure that modern living remains clean, that we've got drinking water, that uh, toilets work, that washing machines work, and uh, great timing because yesterday we had some plumbers at the school. So the, uh, the big news event yesterday was there was a pipe in room 11 that burst, and uh, so we experienced flooding in room 11 through our sensory room and into our kindergarten spaces. So uh, again, thank you to all of our staff who stepped up, showed incredible teamwork to get things ready for instruction at the beginning of the day. Uh, today, we continue to have lots of support offered by the division. So we've got lots of folks from, uh, from maintenance and infrastructure coming in to assess damage. And uh, I hope to provide you an update on, uh, on when those classes might return uh, to their normal spaces for instruction. I do think it will be a little bit because we've got some work ahead of us uh, so thanks to everybody for doing their very best in their new temporary teaching locations or teaching and learning locations. That's your flood update for today. Uh, this afternoon, very exciting. We've got a Division II classes participating in the Student Summit on Anti-Racism. And we are welcoming leadership students from DS McKenzie, which is a junior high school. Their students have been learning about anti-racism meeting with leaders from around the city, from our community, meeting with the mayor, uh, counselors, trustees. And this afternoon, they were visiting our division two classes to provide a lesson on anti-racism, which is fantastic. I really appreciate that. Um, for our students receiving those lessons, I need you to be amazing participants. I want us to learn lots. I want us to also uh, empathize with young people who are taking the role of teachers, please make sure that you are on your very best behavior. Of course, for any Division II classes that would have been scheduled for music or design at that time, you of course will remain with your teacher and uh, we will reschedule and catch you up on those, uh, on that release time for teachers later on. So really looking forward to that. Uh, this is Support Staff Appreciation Week. So Support Staff, is uh, primarily at Greenfield, our educational assistants. And our educational assistants do incredible work every day, whether it's in our interactions classes or supporting students in our regular classes. They help, uh, they help us keep calm or bring us down when we're upset. They support us with our classwork and uh, very, valuable <laughs> very valuable additions to our staff, in fact, essential. So happy support staff week. And uh, thank you very much to our educational assistants. This afternoon, we've got some presentations taking place for students in room six and three on financial literacy, learning all about money. That's really important stuff to learn. 
And because parents need to learn too, this evening, there is a featured presentation on eating disorders and disordered eating. Uh, it takes place, I believe, at 7.15. It's online and it is offered by a Greenfield parent and a registered psychologist. So I uh, encourage uh, all families that are interested in that to attend and our staff will receiving that same lesson uh, in, uh, in the, the weeks ahead. Taking a look at uh, a little bit later in the week, we've got Dress Like the Wild West coming up on Thursday. Sounds like lots of fun, and that is a kickoff to PD Day on Friday. So it is a short week for students. Here's our fun fact inspired by our flood and hug a plumber day. Did you know that plumbers get their name from the Latin word for lead, which is plumbum, kind of funny word, or in French, plomb. And, uh, Lead used to be used in water pipes, and so the people that worked with water pipes, plomb, were called plombiers, plumbers. There we go. Uh, looking at our weather, a uh, little cool this morning, but nice outside. Feels a bit like spring. We're going up to 14 degrees this afternoon. It will be cloudy with a chance of some afternoon showers. That's all I've got for you today, friends. Uh, inspired by our messaging about uh, anti-racism. Uh, encourage you to have an awesome day. Don't forget to demonstrate diversity, equity, kindness, and inclusion. That is what we are about, and today is a celebration of that. Have a great day, everybody.